<clears throat> Hello, God's peace, grace, grace to you and your family and all those whom you love. This is the third Sunday of Epiphany. The stories from scripture today, we have two great stories, one from Jonah. God calls Jonah to be a prophet. What an exciting thing. And then you have Jesus calling um, Andrew and, and Simon, his brother, Peter, um, to come follow me. Both, all of these people being called by God, what an exciting thing to, to hear the call of God um, and, and the expectation, the understanding, what, what does that mean? And we bring with us expectation. We bring with us what, that, what we think that might mean. Um, Jonah speaking to the people of, of Israel and how they need to be in relationship to God and perhaps repent. And, um, but instead, he was sent to the people of Nineveh, the enemy uh, of the people of Israel. It's like, wait a minute. Um, this wasn't what he expected of a, a call from God to be a prophet. And then you have Andrew calling and his brother um, Peter. These two guys didn't have a clue what was to come, how the entire, the entire world would be transformed. It is a, an amazing thing to be called and, and, and brought into the family of God. And oftentimes we bring expectations. And, and as a pastor, I oftentimes hear people's expectation. Well, the church, you're supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be doing that. This is what a church is all about. And I'm like, you know, what we're called to do is be faithful to Jesus Christ. And sometimes that says no. That times it says yes. Sometimes it means go. Sometimes it means stop, be still. We're called to be faithful to Jesus Christ. That's the whole call. Responding to Jesus. All the others is just expectation what we should be doing. All the shoulds. It's a dangerous thing. And, and when people have good ideas about good things, it can be a very, sometimes dangerous thing, but it is a very powerful thing. In the early church for many years, when somebody felt touched by God and this is what I want to do, they're talked out of it. That, why, why are you doing this? Um, you know this will change your life. This will, you know, you could be killed for this. We don't do that now. We, everybody, come on in, whoever, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll appease and we'll do whatever it takes and, and try to welcome everybody in all ways, in all shapes, and, and we should be open to all people and, and understand and not restricting people because of something about them. We're, we're here to anyone touched by God, anyone being called by God, it doesn't matter who and what they are in any shape, form. They're part of the family of God. But it is going to transform your life. It's not going to justify our opinions. It's not going to make our life comfortable. Though my expectation, and I'm sure many of yours, is praying to God that, you know, make this more comfortable. You know, help me out here. I'm not feeling well, or I need more, you know, our finances are challenged, or whatever it might be. My car isn't working. God, help me out here. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, and we, we like to think of God helping us with all of our problems. But God is not there to be a problem solver. God is here to be in relationship with us. And we are called, as this goes, to follow, like Andrew and, and Peter, to follow Jesus. We're not here to ask God to follow us. Plain and simple, we're to follow Jesus, to be, to be faithful to the call of Jesus. Thank God that we are not the, the one that is leading the way in the pack. I, the number of times, I, the mistakes I would have I've looked back on. And I'm, I'm happy that sometimes people don't hear what I say or what I did. Like, oh, that was not a good idea. We're here for the love of Jesus. We're here to hear the power of God working in and around us. God's call is waiting for us. God, God is passing by saying, calling out our names, saying, come, follow me. Leave those desires and expectations and all else behind. Follow me. 
hear my call for you to discover who you've always been. Come, follow me, Jesus says. Where is he leading you? Not where do you want him to lead you to, to go with you. But where is Jesus leading you? Sometimes it's very unexpected, like Jonah going to the enemy of the people and telling them to repent, and they do. <laughs> and God has mercy on them. Oh, what a hard one that is. God may be calling us to reach beyond the, the boundaries and the borders of, of our expectations and understandings and stereotypes and ways of thinking. Even if it's in our own family, even if it's about our own self. Come, follow me. Come, be surprised by the love of God. Amen. May God's blessings be with you and all those whom you love. Amen.